Hi friends, now we are going to solve these problems. You see, here del 1 by r, del r power n, del log r, del f of r. Okay, you see, we are applying, we are applying del on f of r. f of r is here 1 by r. Is there any vector? No. This is a scalar. r power n is a scalar. Log r is a scalar. f of r, it is a scalar. r, it is also a scalar. So, we are applying del operator on the scalar function only. So, what about the resulting vector you see? Resulting what you are getting you see? r bar by r cube. Minus r bar by r cube. So, it is a vector. r bar is there. r bar is there. r bar is there. r bar is there. So, which is, uh, these all are what? Vectors. So, if you are applied del on the scalar point function, the resulting is a vector. Okay, na? Now, before solving this, we have to know some basic concepts. Okay, first what is the potential function, later on what is r value, these all are. Based on that only, you can do the derivatives, uh, you can find these values very easily. Right? First one. We have position vector r bar is equal to xi plus yj plus zk. Now, r bar dot r bar is equal to xi plus yj plus zk dot xi plus yj plus zk. If you multiply then you will have x square plus y square plus z square. This one you can say r square. So, r square is equal to this one. Then r is equal to square root of x square plus y square plus z square. You see, r is a function of x, y, z. So, r you can differentiate partially with respect to x, y, z. So, do r by do x is equal to, what you are getting you see here, then this is root derivative, 1 by 2 root. Okay, 2 root means x square plus y square plus z square into inner derivative. Inner derivative means 2x plus 0 plus 0. So, 2 to getting cancelled, then you will have x by root of x square plus y square plus z square. That is, x by root of x square plus y square plus z square is how much? r. Therefore, do r by do x is equal to x by r. So, you have to remember this. Next, you have r bar is equal to what you have position vector xi plus yj plus zk. Na? Then, do r bar by do x is equal to now, i into with respect to x if you done 1. Okay, i into 1 plus with respect to y means 0 plus with respect to k means 0. So, do r bar by do x is equal to you are going to get i. Do r bar by do y means j. Do r bar by do z means k. That you have to remember. Next, uh, you have you have r bar is equal to xi plus yj plus zk. Na? Simply you can also write as summation xi. Summation xi means r bar. So, you have to remember this. This is the r bar is equal to summation xi. Next, do r by do x is equal to x by r. Next, do r bar by do x is do r bar by do x is equal to i. Do r bar by do y means j. Do r bar by do z means k. These values you have to remember. Okay, na? Right. Now, we will go to the, we will uh, solve the problems. Del r. Del is a vector differential operator and r is a scalar potential function. Del r is equal to, you can say, summation i into do by do x of r. Okay. Now, you see, this is summation i into do r bar by do x means x by r. That is 1 by r you can take outside. Then you have summation xi. What is the summation xi you have? r bar. r bar by r is the answer. So, del r is equal to r bar by r. Okay, I will do in another method. Del r. What is the del you have means i into do by do x. i into do by do x plus j into do by do y plus k into do by do z of r. r is what here? Square root of x square plus y square plus z square. Na? So that is keep it like that only. Summation i into do by do x of this bracket. Root derivative is what? 1 by 2 root into inner derivative is what you have? x square derivative 2x plus j into you see 1 by this is a root derivative 1 by 2 root into inner derivative 2y plus k into 1 by root derivative uh, sorry root derivative is 1 by 2 root into inner derivative 2z 
So this 2 to getting cancelled. Then you have 2 to cancel. Then x i by root plus y j by root plus z k by root. What is the root you have actually? Root is nothing but r only na? Yes. So x i r I can take common. Then you will have x i plus y j plus z k. Nothing but what? r bar by r. Therefore del r is equal to r bar by r. Next another problem. Right? Second one, suppose in place of r, whatever it may be, they will give. Del f of r is equal to what you have to find. Del f of r is equal to summation i into dou by dou x of f of r. You see, summation i is summation i. Derivative of f means f dash of r. f of r is r is generally functions of x, y, z. Na? So, f of r is also in terms of x, y, z only. So, f dash of r into do r by do x in a derivative r derivative summation i into actually f dash of r is a, not a vector so you can take outside f dash of r is outside then remaining is do r bar do r by do x what you have do r by do x what you have means x by r earlier we are proven now this r is also constant uh, r is also scalar you can take outside so f dash of r by r into Summation x i. What is the summation x i you have? x i plus y j plus z can So f dash of r by r into r bar is del f of r. That's it. Okay. Next problem. Del log r is equal to summation i into dou by dou x of log r. So this is equal to summation i into uh, log r derivative 1 by r into do r by do x. So 1 by r you can take outside because it is a scalar only. So i into do r by do x earlier we have proven what is that value? x by r. So this r also you can take outside 1 by r square summation x i. What is the summation x i you have? Yes r bar by r square. Summation x i means x i plus y j plus z, z is, k is what? r bar only no? Yes. So what is the answer you have? Del log r is r bar by r square. You see, in place of f of r, what you have? Log r. So, f dash of r means 1 by r. 1 by r by r means 1 by r square into r. So, it is satisfied now? Yes. Remember, this is the formula. Sometimes they will give for the exams as object to bit. Okay, na? As object to bit, it is very useful to you. Next one. Del 1 by r. Now, you see, in place of f of r, we have 1 by r, but I am proving a like general method. Summation i into dou by dou x of 1 by r. So, summation i into this derivative 1 by bracket 1 by r derivative minus 1 by r square into dou r by dou x. Minus 1 by r square I can write outside because it is a scalar only. Now, i into dou r by dou x. So, minus 1 by r square into summation i into what is the dou r by dou x you have? x by r. It does not count. Okay. Now this 1 by r also you can take outside. Then the remaining minus 1 by r cube into summation xi. What is the summation xi you have? xi plus yj plus zk. Nothing but r bar. Minus r bar by r cube. What value minus r bar by r cube means? Del 1 by r is minus r bar by r cube. Okay now? Uh, next problem. Important problem this is. Uh, many times uh, they are given in the general examinations like show that del r to the power of n is equal to n into r power n minus 2 into r bar n into r power n minus 2 into r bar this is also general proof only now del let take lhs let, part del r to the power of n is summation i into dou by dou x of r to the power of n summation i into what is the derivative of r power n means n into r to the power of n minus 1 into dou r by dou x. So, n is a constant. I, n is a constant. r power n minus 1 also you can write outside from the summation. n r to the power of n minus 1 summation i into dou r by dou x. What is the dou r by dou x we have means? Yes. What is that? Summation i into x by r. So, 1 by r also you can take outside r to the power of n minus 1, if you take in 1 by r outside, then it will become, if it is, uh, becomes in the numerator means, numerator will become what? n minus 2, right. Summation i into xi means, i into x means xi, 
this is n r to the power of n minus 2 times of this is r bar x i plus this is what x i plus y j plus z k value is summation x i r not this is r bar r not yes therefore del r to the power of n is n into r power n minus 2 into r bar very important many times they are given for the exam short answer question thank you for watching this video